okay what is everybody and today we're back again with another video and as you can see the dogs are now released and in this video as you can probably tell we are going to be going over my favorite tips and tricks about the dogs and basically all the information that you would need to know about this update including that true horns black box has been released go on parquet now and look at that i also made a video about them a couple days ago on friday kind of talking about them looking at them and if you just want to have a look at them go check that video out as well but let's start off with how you can actually get yourself your dog go to your store access your cash go to the kennel and under my dogs you should not see anything here go to purchasable dogs purchasable dogs and your first dog is going to be free now your second dog your third dog or your first dog whatever other dog you want to buy they're going to be costing forty five thousand dollars a piece you have six variations that you can choose from starting with this one i will quickly go through these all with you guys so you can have a quick look at what they all look like i think they did a very very good job with these dogs i am very happy how they look there you go those are all six of them you can choose between male and female and once you hit buy over here i can't do it right now as you see i am broke on the early access here you can go ahead and there's gonna be a little pop-up window that shows up you're gonna be entering the name of your dog and you cannot change it afterwards make sure it's a good name make sure you like the name because you're gonna be stuck with it forever i regret calling my dog just dog but now in this menu as well this is where you can choose to kennel it or to set it as active when you buy the dog first it's obviously going to be in the kennel so you're going to have to go here and make sure to set it as active and then you should see your dog just kind of sitting outside of your tent or your outpost depending on where you are another thing if you have multiple dogs they will just list right over here and you can see kind of what level they're at in terms of companion tracker and what current traits you have for them as well as seeing their name you can also see it here first number is going to always rep represent your companion level and the second one is always going to represent your tracking level staying with the levels theme your dogs can level up all the way up to level 30 on companion and all the way up to level 15 on tracker now for companion actually quickly showing here this is where you can see it go our escape go below hunt club beta and above system you'll have a hunting dog pop up here and this is where you can see everything in general i will go over focus and bond in a second i first want to go over companion and tracker so this is where you can see both of the progress and you can just track live we'll show you how much percent of the current level you have leveled up so i'm 47 percent away from maxing out my dog in terms of tracking and i still need another what 65 percent to level my dog up to level 21 in companion now with the companion levels you can actually unlock traits as well now i'm not going to make any judgment here on which ones you should get because as you can see i haven't even tested half of them yet i've only tested four out of the possible 12 so far so i still need to test a good bit before i'll make an actual guide video but at level five you can get either loving or shortcut and for loving what you would get is you have an even more loving relationship with your dog which increases its overall bond i will explain in a second what the bond means shortcut your dog can skip over detour tracks in favor of more recent clues so basically it'll just follow the tracks a little bit more based on the more recent tracks it has so it doesn't do the kind of wiggly line that some of the animals do when they're running away now at level 10 you can unlock six cent or nosy nosy increases the distance at which your dog can find a blood clue so in general your dog will unlock or find tracks within 50 meters this is only blood tracks i should say though so if you're within a radius of 50 meters of that blood track your dog will be able to find it with the nosy perk i've noticed it's been closer to 65 to 70 meters so it does increase that distance by quite a bit sixth sense your dog has a higher chance of sensing when an animal is about to be spooked your dog generally does this as well but with this perk on it will just increase that a little bit more and just make it even more aware of those effects at level 15 you can either unlock howl or nosier howl your dog will howl like a wolf on command i think this is pretty cool i'm not too sure if it actually will attract wolves or if it's just kind of something for fun, but I will definitely get myself a dog that can do that in the live game. Nosier, your dog is better at picking up the scent from smaller blood clues. Basically, if you get a, like a flesh hit or just hit them in the leg, something bad like that, hit them in the vertebrae and they don't bleed very well, 
this is generally where he's going to be able to pick those traits up a little bit better a little bit quicker and just follow those tracks a lot faster and not take as much time at level 20 sharp or spotted i chose spotted your dog has a chance to highlight a wounded animal you are tracking i haven't tried it out myself yet like i said but if this works this could be great especially if you're tracking a diamond and you got a bad shot the first time if you can get close to that animal to where he can spot it for you you got yourself a good follow-up shot hopefully next time and he will just spot it straight for you that could be very very helpful on the other hand though your dog is naturally more willing to work and has increased focus this could help you as well if you are a very active tracker but i'll talk about what focus is in just a second now at level 25 you can either get close or poop dar your dog has a higher chance of finding fresh uh, droppings when idle so if he's not doing anything right now he'll go around looking for droppings and if there are some fresh ones around i guess he'll just bark at you and tell you that there's some droppings around that you could maybe follow uh, and close your dog has a higher chance of staying close to you so if you run around the world your dog is not going to be running as far away from you he's going to be a little bit closer to you and follow you a little bit more sharply now at level 30 which is your last level you can either choose between brave and master tracker master tracker being your dog has a small chance to find the harvest without needing to follow a trail this could be helpful if you're somebody though that doesn't like to get attacked by wolves i would recommend you get this your dog has a chance to ward off predator attacks so if you have wolves attacking you constantly on yukon or quattro this will lower the chance that they'll attack you and he will even try and defend you as best he can now staying with focus and bond the focus is basically how well your dog will do its job the less the more tired it gets which he does if you give him commands like sitting staying tracking stuff like that the lower his focus will go and the lower his focuses go the worse and worse he'll get at tracking and the slower and slower he'll be the way you can get focus up again is by giving him treats by playing with him and just by letting him follow you and running around so if you let him track like three or four animals straight one after the other he's going to be very slow by the time the third and fourth track is going to come so just wait with him play a little bit with him run around the map look for some next animals and then by the time you'll find the next one he should be back up to three of focus and you should be able to go ahead and track those animals no problem bond on the other hand is how loving of a relationship you have now this is also how willing he is to work how good he does his job as well so these two kind of intertwine together um and this one also is how fast your dog will level up in companion so if you're just running around with him being content the entire time he's gonna level up a lot slower than if you go up to him and you pet him because that will get his bond up and going you're gonna have to give him about I, I generally when i'm at content i'll give him one of all three so the pet play and giving him a treat and that will bring him up all the way to best friend if you just pet and um play with him he's gonna go to loving but if you give him a treat at the end as well he will go all the way up to level three hearts which is meaning the best friend now as you see there i just used the wheel or the new dog wheel which if you're not close to him you can choose between stay lay down track sit these four are going to be what are going to be taking down his energy level or his focus level you can praise him as well which does a nice little whistle sound as you can hear and healing basically all that does is this means your dog is going to follow you you can also do this by just tapping b once very quickly and he will follow you if you're on console by the way all of this is d-pad down and i think those same just quick taps are working the same i haven't tried it out though because i am on pc and my ps4 controller for some reason doesn't want to connect to my pc so i didn't manage to try that out yet but i'm pretty sure that will work now if you're close to him you'll get this pop up here hold b to interact if you press b that's when you get the options of playing with him and petting with him if you go ahead and buy yourself treats with you which you can do yeah, under actually let me show you real quick if you go back here to the store and you go all the way down to equipment and consumables you will find the doggy biscuits which are costing four thousand and you will get 25 of them which you can give to him if you're close again those will increase his bond um, another thing that you can do if you're very close to the dog let me quickly actually get him to sit down so if you're like close like this and you press b once you should go to petting him i have no idea what i did there but let me quickly let him to sit down i did that a little bit too quickly the other time so if he's gonna sit down once like this properly and i hit b once now there you go then I'll just go to kind of the petting animation, which could be helpful. And it's just a little bit of a shortcut. Now, if you're also tracking blood, 
and you're kind of this distance away from here and you press B then you're gonna be going to tracking straight away but you do have to be within five meters of the recently discovered blood track another tip if you're tracking blood that is um, that you want to you shot two animals and you want to track one specifically highlight that track and press B directly to make sure you track that specific track and he doesn't go to the other one if you don't examine any one of those he will just pick whichever one he wants generally it's which one is closer to him but sometimes he'll just pick the other one as well because he picks that scent up quicker so if you want to make sure you pack, pick the one that's closer or the animal that you know is not running quite as far then you can do it by just highlighting the track and he will follow the track that you highlighted just so that you know that it can be very helpful and i only found out yesterday and it saved me so much time now that is generally all the information i can give you guys as of now how to level them up faster how to level them up the easiest i'm still testing around that i'm still gonna try out some new things my tips so far just run around hunt with them have him set as active the entire time he will also gain some companionship level with you driving the atv and fast traveling so that can help giving him treats and just doing anything that will increase his bond also increases his companionship level as far as i have noticed um tracking obviously you just level that up by tracking animals there's no real way that you can do that any faster just make him track everything and you should be good there what traits would i give him i still have to play around with that like i said i've only had this dog for three days so give me some more time let me see what other people think as well and then i'll make a video about that in the future but with that being said i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys are gonna love these dogs and another thing quickly very at the end these dogs cannot retrieve any animals for you though they're not going to pick up geese rabbits or ducks ew did say that in if you guys like these dogs in the future they will consider adding features like that to new dogs introduced in the future but for now these are going to be only companions and tracking dogs that's just what i wanted to very quickly say but if you guys enjoyed this video please definitely make sure to go ahead and hit that like button as it really does help the channel out a lot also if you're new around here or you just haven't done so yet please definitely make sure to go ahead and subscribe and hit that bell icon so you're always notified when i upload new videos and of course, have a good day, and bye-bye, and peace.